Hey, good evening, folks. I'm doing a uh, build update on the Atlantis 148th scale white 3000 cab over pulling the Sinclair gas tanker. That's what it looks like on the box, so let's uh, check out the progress. And uh, I didn't finish the cab yet because I wanted to show you guys the uh, interior. So here's the Here's the interior. I did the floorboard in a flat black, give it that rubber look. And then there's your seats. They kind of have that, uh, oh, what am I trying to say? Black vinyl look to them. There's your steering column there. That's pretty much all. Um, I did paint the underside of the floor. Uh, the, uh, oh, what is that green I used? Uh, Meadow Green by rust -Oleum is what I used. So anyway, so that's the interior for you. Not a whole lot to show, but I thought you guys would want to see that before I uh, put it inside the cab there is the whoops there is the front end of the cab there with the bumper and the grill um it says white there um i try to do my best with the wipers uh the turn signals and the headlights there it's a pretty neat little kit for a 148 scale kit i have done i think i did one other uh model kit in this scale maybe it was a yeah it might have been the same scale can't remember off the top of my head it was over 20 years ago i did a uh, a semi truck uh set by heller models it was it consisted of i believe a kenworth k100 cab over and i believe two peterbilt 359s with tra they all three had trailers i don't have them anymore but um it wasn't too bad um, I could have done better on them. That was in my earlier days, of course. So yeah. Anyway, um, so now here's the here's the awesome Sinclair gasoline sign with the dyno on there, and um, I just got those on earlier. It's good thing is you can't really tell on here, but um, I didn't uh, before the decal set on this sign here. I didn't give it a good. Uh, um, you know, like a brushing off to kind of get any bubbles or not bubbles, but any wrinkles. It did wrinkle. Um, actually, you know what? I think those wrinkles disappeared because I put some uh, of the uh, Mark Fit on there. It looks like it took care of that. I don't see them anymore. So there's a little bit of issue there, but it's okay. It's a small kit and it's going to sit up on a shelf anyway. It won't be seen easily. All right, so let's get to the trailer. I really like the trailer. It's got a lot of good detail there. You can see the decals, the Sinclair decal, the Frauhoff manufacturer decals. Um, there's a couple of sink marks there. I, sh I, I didn't have any putty, but I probably could have put some uh, filler in there and sanded that out, make it look better. But again, it's a quick little build, so we'll be all right. There's your landing gear and your kingpin there, um, your spare tire rack with a spare tire and your, there's your lines for your gasoline uh, to be distributed. And, yep, and there's the underside. Um, that came out pretty well. I'm not used to the uh, plastic tires. Um, they're kind of a pain in the butt to do, but as you can see, they came out pretty good. I did them in flat black, and then I used red craft paint to do the rims. So, yep, there's the, uh, I got a, I'm going to open that for you. There's the, uh, there's your valves for the hoses when they put, when they, uh, service the stations with, with the fuel. And then there's your, uh, fire extinguisher in there. So, yeah, that's the trailer. There's your ladder to climb up on top of the tank. I got the brake light or the marker lights up top, uh, detail. And of course there's the left side of the trailer. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I think the green that I used was the perfect, uh, shade there all right now on to the tractor and as you can see there's the cab and it tilts nicely no issues and tilt it down there there's your little engine i'm not sure if this is a diesel or a gas powered engine um pretty tiny little thing but it's pretty detailed for what it, for a 148 skill scale uh kit i was trying to get the radiator to lift up i didn't glue it in yet so that i, I could show you the Okay, I think I got it. I think I'm almost. I think I've almost got it there. Try that again. Uh, all right, it's not lifting. I'm not going to bother anyway. I was going to show off the 
that I detailed the belt or the belt there. You can kind of see it there on the right. So yeah, it looks like some paint wore off up top there. I'll have to touch that up. So yeah, it's all in the same color, just like it is on, on the box. So um, there's your mirrors. The mirrors and the horn were such a uh, fight to get on. I um, had to open up the holes a little bit and it was, it didn't matter. That was, it was still a pain. The mirrors are not all, you can see that left one's not all the way in, all the way in. Maybe I'll try to fight with it later and get it done. So yeah, and then I, um, here, let's flip under and see the exhaust detail. You can see your, uh, your air brake chambers and your uh, differential there and your drive line. Transmission, I just kept red like the engine. There's your tank. It's a cool little kit. Maybe I'll, uh, not opposed to doing more in this size depending on what it is. Um, there's your uh, your uh, cab system there to, to drop it, unsecure and drop it. Um, I did put some of that um, grease on the fifth wheel to make it look like the the grease they used to keep it uh, looped up there. Some of it got pulled off that accidentally. I'll just fill that up and call it done. So, so yeah, that's it. And I found this kind of neat on this little truck that is, uh, what is that right there? The battery. The battery is right there on the right side of the uh, chassis there. So, yeah, that is my version of the uh, 148 scale white 3000 cab over with uh, the Sinclair tra uh, tanker trailer. I'm, I'm impressed with it, and I'm going to get the rest of this done and have it buttoned up and see if I can make some little last-minute adjustments, and that'll be it. And then we'll get the slideshow video done for it. All right, guys, enjoy this build update, and uh, we'll see you soon.